Why not? Why not? My baby mama trip, she been going through my phone. Tired of me cheating, I can't leave these hoes alone. Hella pics, hella tips on my cash out. Cash out. It's like, hold up a minute every time that I'm in it. Envy. Brother DJ Envy. We need you to the front of the congregation, my brother. Oh, yes, God. God is a wonderful God. Oh yes, my brother DJ Envy. You you blew my robe off with this foolishness here. This debauchery here. I say his brother DJ Envy in the church. It's brother DJ Envy in the church today. Oh, brother DJ Envy. Did we not pray for you when your real estate went bad? Hmm. Did we not pray for you when you almost lost your wife? Huh? Did we not? Did we not pray for you when Sister Angela Lee left the breakfast club? Hmm? Were we not supportive of you? Was the community act not available to your beck and call? Were we not, Mr. DJ Envy, sir? Huh? This is appalling, Mr. DJ Envy. How dare you bring this in front of God's people? How dare you give this example to other fathers, daughters, mothers? You got your whole family a part of this. And you're supposed to be the head under God. I don't think Psalms 91, I don't think Psalms 91 is going to work this time brother deacon wano has to get off in your proverbial backside my brother what in god's green earth are you doing why are you doing this could she not have been whitney houston hmm? could she not have did lauren hill hmm? what about mc light Hmm? Could she not have been yo-yo, perhaps? You can't play with my yo-yo. Is that not more appropriate for this young lady who is not even at the age for braces yet? Hmm? Do you think I wanted my little daughters to think that they're eight? The young lady is eight years old. What is she going to be? Superhead in her next video at nine. I don't get it. Before I condemn you, my brother, let me, let's look at the evidence. Is damn it, is DJ Envy in the court? You know what? You got to make the, the Reverend need a drink. Whew. What are you doing, my brother? Um, he has her in this cut out swimsuit with a fur jacket very grown and so a lot of people are not feeling this he's currently getting drugged all over social media the young lady knows the words to that song oh my goodness Why does an eight-year-old know the words to that song? Look at this young lady's face. Do you see the face on this young lady? Is it me or does she look scared? Is it me or does she look robbed of her innocence? Is it me or is it a conspiracy 
that they think this is the only way to entertain us is proud sexuality. What the fuck is going on here, man? You telling me with all that money, time, and availability and opportunity you have, my brother, this is the best you could come up with? Little Kim is not even from Queens. You're from Queens. There are a couple female rappers from Queens with better songs, more quality material that you could have put your daughter in. Cause she not had been Nikki living the life. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, brother, DJ Envy, my brother, sir. Sir, brother, DJ Envy, my brother, sir. I don't know what to say about any of these people, but we clearly need some church in the streets. We clearly need a pistol packing reverend on these streets. Yes, we do. And why not me? God damn it. I mean, sir, uh, forgive me. Forgive me, Father. I'm trying to do better. Forgive me, Father. But these guys are not trying at all. They're not trying at all. Wait till you see this next round of foolishness here. Wait till you hear this next round of foolishness. This next round of foolishness is such foolishness that is foolish. Too much foolishness. Trial has both sides hammered out potential pre deals behind closed doors. Uh -huh. Earlier today, an agreement was reached. Was when it the now? Exact terms of the deal fell through. It fell to the judge to determine the fate of Jeffrey Williams. And both sides presented their final arguments to Judge Whitaker. Here's a breakdown of this complicated sentence. What was originally a five year sentence was modified by the judge to time served, meaning the two and a half years Young Thug has already spent in jail was good enough. Today, he starts 15 years on probation. Hanging over his head is a 20 year sentence. 15 if years? In probation, that sentence will also be commuted. 15 years of probation? Now this young man was the luckiest young man I've ever seen charged with a crime was winning his case. The case was the most horrible case I ever seen thrown together. Was winning his case, decides to take a plea deal. Now, we know it's hard to sit in county jail. County, believe it or not, being in county jail is harder than being in prison. And they made it like that for a reason. But he sat in there for two and a half years already fighting this case. Longest case in Georgia history. I don't knock him taking a plea deal, I do have a problem with 15 years worth of probation for a young man who has been pretty much a drug addict for the past 10 years. For a young man who's still young enough to have a disagreement with his old lady. This young man haven't even acquired the skills to avoid a misdemeanor yet. So to me, to me, to me, they just stole 25 years out of this young man's life because with that case they had, even if he was found guilty of one charge, he wouldn't have ended up doing no more than five or 10 years. And down there in Georgia, it would have been down to, done to 60% anyway. So he was coming home soon anyway, no matter what happened. And, or, or he was going to totally beat the case. With that being said, fellas, stay out of trouble. Be your best self. You understand? Because God has a plan for you. He has a plan. He has a purpose. He has a lane. You do not have to be other than yourself. You may not have money, but you got yourself. Look within yourself. See what you naturally have. Use that to get money and notoriety. I promise you it will work. Either you naturally fix things. So start fixing stuff for people. The first couple of things you fix, it might be for free. So what? 
sitting on your ass is free. You understand? You might know things. Help people with their kids' homework. Hey, man, I heard Junior got bad grades, man. You know I graduated college, don't know what to do with this degree, man. Let me tutor him. Whatever you have to offer, start offering that. Don't offer to rob, kill, and steal because we got enough of that. We got enough of that. And watch your homies. Now, the judge reminded Young Thug his words and actions are broadcasted on a global stage. I know you're talented, and even if you choose to continue to rap, you need to try to use your influence to let kids know that that is not the way to go. In her parting words, the judge also reminded Williams of the consequences that await him if he violates that probation. Which he will. Okay, court is adjourned. Good luck to you. And I'm going to have any, there better be no violations. But if there are any, you're coming back to see me. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Technically, the YSL trial is not over. That's because. And that's the problem. It's not that he's going to purposely do something. It's not that Young Thug is just a, well, I don't know if he's a good or bad guy anyway. What I do know is with the stipulations on this parole, it's damn near impossible. I mean, on this probation, it's damn near impossible for him to not violate. They even got it down to what kind of lyrics he can use and hand gestures. So if he take a picture like this, parole vibe, probation violation. You young brothers, it's not worth it. Be yourself. Be yourself so you don't need Wano's help. You know, now we come on over to this. Uh, ah, now this lady here. I don't know what to say about this young lady. She's been. She's been telling tattletales. Well, not even, she's not a tattleteller. She's an all out liar per se. All out liar per se. And what, what people are, see, I have sons and I have daughters. So I have no choice but to be fair on both sides. This young lady was belligerently drunk, was exited from a party, sexing on her best friend, man, and aggressive, not to mention totally bigger and taller than all parties involved. That's why they kicked their horse ass out that party. Didn't nobody want to get a back kick. It's hard to believe that you was belligerent enough to get kicked out a party, but you was peaceful and calm enough to be the person in the vehicle that wasn't starting no drama. Plus, I am a gun holder. I like guns. Brother Deacon Wano has a gun on under this church robe, too. Now, what I will tell you is this. To shoot someone in the foot is hard. It may be easier to shoot someone in the head than it is to shoot someone in the foot. The foot is a narrow thing. And it's always moving. Even a fat-footed person's foot is only about three, four inches wide. And that's a fat foot. That's a very narrow space to shoot somebody in on purpose. And somebody's foot is always moving, especially if you're talking about in the altercation. I just want to lay that on you. Because common sense goes out the window when people feelings get played on. To be honest with you, baby, I think that young lady snatched that gun from somebody else and shot herself in the foot. Do I think she was the one that pulled the gun? Nope. But I damn sure think she snatched that bitch. Because she could have overpowered all involved. No problem. 
shooting yourself in the foot would be a lot easier than somebody else shooting you in the foot because your arm and leg move in stride. Like when you walk, you don't have to tell your arm and leg to move in synchronicity. You know what I'm saying? But Brother Deacon Wano does common sense as well. But we're going to see about this because it's been exposed that Sister Megan has told another field. Now, she may need Psalms 91. This may work for her because she need to do better as an individual. Mm -hmm. And I know you like, why he keeps saying Psalms 91? Why he keeps saying Psalms 91? Because that was the scripture that was told I needed to read. <laughs> you understand? So if it worked for me, it might work for you. But some of y'all need more. Some of y'all need the whole book. You just need to get the whole book and, and put some steak sauce on it and digest it all. Yes, you do. That's what you, you that's what you need. The stallion calling her the B word in a new documentary. Oh. Gail King appeared to take the high road. Gail said, hey, I'm just sitting here minding my own business. She went on to talk about how she will support Megan the Stallion no matter what. She died with Megan the Stallion. What she did not do is address the fact that Megan admitted to lying to her. Mm. Gail kind of just skipped over that and went straight to politics. 2024 presidential election. And that's how you know the fix is in. I'm so tired of all this politics stuff, man. The woman lied to you, called you a bitch. You had way more heat for R. Kelly. And this is ridiculous. It's like destroy heterosexual men at all costs. I'm not defending an R. Kelly. But if right is right and wrong is wrong, this woman lying to you, poison a jury, possibly put an innocent man in jail use your platform to do it and you have nothing to say but we should vote for another lying ass female huh is that what you're telling me i think that's what she just said i could be wrong and then here we go here we go here we go when the two starts to blue and the rat, 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 go, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, if you was OT, the get toe jam is about to slam. Y'all ain't think Brother Deacon Wano knew that song, did you? Well, I did. I, I kind of forgot some words from it, but I got the melody. I did just as good as the last Brother Young Thug. That's how his music sound, does it not? Mm whole lot of inaudibles in there now look at this malarkey we have a divorcee ex lady of the night ex reality tv star i know more about how her body looks than i know about herself I know more about her husband's <laughs> and her bedroom activity than I know about her education. And it's not because Brother Deacon Wano sought this information out. It's because this information wound up on Brother Deacon Wano's computer screen regularly, every day, every week, every month, every time, Facebook, Instagram, it's in my DMs. Hey, I don't know. I don't want to hear about the Barbie dial and the half homogenized milk drinking man. I don't want to hear about it. And just because you a celebrity now, don't mean that man is going to be faithful. It don't mean you're something to be faithful to because you have money. Baby, that ain't even your money. We seen what they done to Diddy. Whenever they want to turn your light off or you don't do what they say, they're going to take yours too. You about to lose a little bit in this divorce, <laughs> which is hilarious. I don't, I, I, 
Look at what they offer to us. They they go get the lowest runs of us. You telling me it's no happily married Democrats that got a good family and no no bad reputation that don't run around shaking their bottoms to, to get me to vote for you? You telling me you don't have none of them? We're not even going to get into politics in Brother Deacon Wano's church, but politics have gotten into us and it's making all of us be as ignorant as, as the class clown. But now nah, it's a class full of clowns. And then we are aggressive and antagonistic to anyone willing to question why will we continue to keep doing what we have been doing that has not been working. That by definition is insanity. But we are going to check out this uh I'm excited. What's up, y'all? One second, guys. One second. Now, if it was real, why you couldn't speak from the heart? If what you say is true, why do you need a script? You see that? Now, if you were intelligent enough to just tell us what it is, or you was intelligent enough to know what it is, then you could orate that. But she couldn't. Now, I don't want to bring down my Latino sister, but to continuously put her in the front, like she represents the most intellectual of us true african-americans i cannot allow that you would not take the ignorant black man off the corner and allow him to speak like he represents the puerto ricans and the hispanics they would never allow that so why are we allowing this uneducated lady who has nothing to offer us other than attitude and an augmented body tell us who we should vote for just wonder look okay so i don't take lightly the call Sorry, guys, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous, guys. I'm you get naked in front of the whole world and you're nervous about speaking. This young lady, what I would have to give her credit on, is a very passionate speaking person. She goes live and speaks passionately all the time. It's full of curses and innuendos and all kinds of things of that nature, but she does have the ability to do so. Why do you think she couldn't do it here? Because it's malarkey, my brother. It's malarkey. I don't want my flock misled. But if you like your lead to be missed, then you go right ahead. And that's what I said. Because Freddie is dead. <laughs> you didn't know I rapped. I bust rhymes. Now look at this gentleman here. We got another one. The church of Brother Deacon Wano is in full swing. I am going to lay the blessings of the holy water on these, both of these motherfuckers here. Especially this Ray J, who's a very entertaining guy. I don't know if you can see this yet, but you're about to see it on your screen right now. You're about to see it on your screen right now. Is you seeing it on your screen? Is you seeing it on your screen? Now let's check this out. I'm a, I'm a lie. 
I'm living, Amen. but I'm I'm lit. You, you taught me that. You, and thank you. I didn't mean to stand up like that, but I have to believe in myself. <laughs> what happened with your career earlier?